The following video was brought to you by the Geological Society of Hereford Sixth Form College. 538.8 million years ago, Wales, the Cambrian observed a startling diversity of multicellular life emerge. Among these organisms were arthropods, the ancient ancestors of today's spiders, segmented insects, and crustaceans. An example of such being the Cambrian trilobite, Paradoxides behemicus. Parallel to Paradoxides of the infamous Canadian fossil deposit of Burgess Shale, evolved to see rife with predators, including the shrimp like Anormalacaris, and today creatures, such as the debris scavenging Morella and bottom feeding Bawaxia. Among this cacophony of primordial life arose the first protochordates, such as Brachia gracilens, which presented to the first early backbone, the forebearer of all vertebrates, humans being one, to follow. 485.4 million years ago, the Ordovician era saw the groundbreaking occurrence, which was the colonisation of land by early terrestrial plants and arthropods. The oldest complete vertebrate fossils found, jawless armoured fish, such as Aranda spider, while reefs were dominated by algae and sponges, opposed from coral. During the Silurian period, an ice cap at the South Pole started to melt, causing global marine transgression. Most of Silurian rocks in central Wales consist of uniform repetitive mudstone, as it would have been a lake or an ocean floor. Laminated mudstone is deposited in low oxygen zones, along with bioturbated mudstone, which is deposited in oxygenated conditions. Buxonia were among the most successful vascular land plants found in coalified impressions around Wales. However, plant life was restricted to coastal lowlands being only simple organisms. The Devonian period saw rivers depositing sediment from large continental deserts forming the old red sandstone which contains fossils documenting the land colonisation by life. Many amites and gryphia are found in Wales, suggesting that most land masses was marine. Little evidence of ice caps implies the climate was warm, equitable and tropical, and we assume that this climate caused evolution and expansion of landmarks resulting in modern soils. Runoff of phosphorus and nitrates caused low reoxygenation rates in the water and mass extinction of marine life. The Carboniferous period saw the emergence of lush tropical forests, vast swampy environments and a warm climate due to Wales's position close to the equator. Many of the modern day coal deposits found in Wales formed at this time, with the growth and domination of towering tree-like ferns and early conifers. The land was inhabited by a diverse array of amphibians, from large predators like Folliderpeton to insects like Meganeura, which thrived in the oxygen-rich atmosphere caused by the dominant of large terrestrial flora. The Permian period saw the evolution of early reptiles and primitive ancestors of the dinosaurs, the synapsids. The shallow warm seas surrounding Wales contained flourishing coral reefs and played host to a variety of marine life like brachiopods, mollusks and many members of the trilobite genus like Dittimopygy. The end of the Permian saw a catastrophic global extinction caused by a multitude of climatological factors that exasperated large volcanic activity in modern-day Siberia, which led to over 90% of marine species and 70% of terrestrial life being wiped out, reshaping the course of geological history. Triassic Wales hosted many unique dinosaur species like Pendragon and Tadraco. Pendrag, a solophosoid theropod discovered in South Wales, measured about 1 meter in length and displayed signs of insular dwarfism due to its isolated island habitat. Pantadraco, a basal sauropodomorph found in the same quarry, was roughly 3 meters long, weighing about 50 kilograms. It had a tapered tail, pointed head, and grasping front limbs, indicating a shift to an omnivorous diet in the sauropodomorph lineage. Both species were discovered in Pantifanon Quarry, situated in uplifted Carboniferous Limestone Island during the Triassic period, with a climate resembling today's Cayman Islands. The island's wetland environment lacked larger predators, allowing smaller species like Eindigma spina and a crocodile-like dinosaur and Trires trisuchus, a long-legged crocodilomorph, to flourish. The region also hosted Rhynchocephalians, including Quaniosaurus, a winged reptile capable of gliding from trees, reminiscent of the modern-day Draco. The Jurassic period saw a range of dinosaurs living in Wales because of its diverse ecosystems, meaning it was much easier for sauropods, i.e. Brachiosaurus, to live here at this time, as there was a larger range of food. Additionally, theropods, e.g. the Megalosaurus, were common during the Jurassic period. Geological evidence, like fossils preserved in rocks, are indicators of life during this time, and allows us to better understand the ecosystems that existed. Whilst at this time, Wales was part of the landmass Laurasia, it had a coastline which supported a range of life, largely made up of marine reptiles such as plesiosaurs. During the Cretaceous period, whales changed considerably, including climate change and erosion, forming new landforms, meaning that new varieties of life could thrive because life evolved with the geological changes. Changes meant that dinosaurs living during this period evolved to be much more robust than previously. For example, iguanodons and ankylosaurids evolved to be well prepared to defend themselves from predators and the conditions. There were many predators helping us understand the reasons for adaptions of their prey. 
Moreover, Wales maintained its coastline, which was similar at this time to the Jurassic. The Cenozoic period saw the landscape of Wales assume its present shape, especially over the last 2.6 million years during the Quaternary period. An ice sheet, which at its max extent covered virtually all of Wales and reached as far south as Cardiff and Swansea. In its wake, suits of both erosional and depositional landfall. The glacial valleys of Snowdonia and the Brecon Beacons are well known to many. Many of the pre-existing valleys were further deepened by the glacial ice. Following the end of the last ice age, sea levels rose to roughly their current levels at around 6,000 years ago. Forests which had become established at or below this level were destroyed through the preserved stump of trees in growth can still be seen at intertidal zones in places such as Inislas and Keradigi. When modern life began to flourish in Wales, many Mesozoic forms of life became extinct. Not only the dinosaurs, but ammonites and chalk forming nanoplank. This left open environmental niches that were filled by new mammal creatures such as bison were found in Wales. 